archaeological find, the evidence that may explain Holy Bible's account of Jesus' life. Archaeological evidence collected from the time of the life of Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago could help researchers explain some of the stories contained within the Holy Bible New Testament archaeologist has explained. Jesus Christ may be one of the most famous people to have walked our earth, but very little is known about his life outside of the Bible. There is virtually no archaeological record of Jesus' life beyond Scripture, but new discoveries are slowly piercing together what Jesus' life may have been like 2,000 years ago. Researchers in Nazareth of Israel, the town where Jesus is said to have grown up, claim to have made some fascinating insights into the New Testament Bible accounts of this era. According to Ken Dark, who is the director of Nazareth Archaeological Project, the archaeological record of Nazareth paints a picture of the political cultural setting at the time Jesus Christ was growing up. Research shows Nazareth may have been a much bigger settlement than previously thought, the residents living very conservative and anti-Roman lives. The findings suggest residents of Nazareth at that time had different attitude towards certain rituals and practices to the people of neighboring towns of Sepphoris, and these religious and political differences may have even contrasted with the teaching of Jesus. In his book, Roman Period and Byzantine Nazareth and its Hinterland, Dr. Dark wrote, our new investigation has transformed archaeological knowledge of Roman Nazareth. For the first time ever, we are now gaining a reasonable understanding of the sort of place Nazareth was in the Roman times. Dr. Dark also said, by examining the detail in archaeological evidence gained from recent landscape survey work and from a detailed reanalysis of previous excavations, we're beginning to learn about the cultural and economic environment in which Jesus grew up. According to the Gospel of Mark, Jesus was rejected by the people of Nazareth upon entering a synagogue on the Sabbath. In the Gospel of Matthew also, people questioned Jesus' miracles and described him as a son of a carpenter. Dr. Dark's research suggests Jesus' teachings and values may have clashed with the conservative people of Nazareth. He said, the all-encompassing message of salvation being presented by Jesus might also have been controversial to local people who may have sought to create a cultural barrier between themselves and the Romans. The anti-Roman sentiments were likely strong enough that the town revolved against the occupiers in the year 70 AD. That's when we know that the synagogue of uh, Jerusalem was destroyed and, of course, the exile of the Israelites. From uh, That's when the country of Israel uh, was no more. Now, Dr. Dark's research also suggests there was a difference between Jesus' teachings on purity and the widely held beliefs of the Nazarenes, the archaeologists said the teachings contrasted with their own perception of what was pure and impure. In the Gospel of Mark 7.14, Jesus says, Listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. But the Nazarenes may have been much more strict about definitions of impurity, explaining the distrust shown towards Jesus in the Gospels. Dr. Dark also found evidence to suggest Nazareth was a much bigger town with evidence of agriculture, quarrying, and rock cut tombs. The Nazarenes appear, the people of Nazareth appear to have been buried in so called Kohim tombs, which are graves cut into the rock that were blocked off with a rolling stone. Jesus is said to have been buried in the same type of tomb after his crucifixion. This is, uh, we know that he was uh, laid to rest in the tomb that was never used before. It was the tomb of his uncle, who was a high priest of uh, the synagogue of Jerusalem, Joseph of Arimathea, who was also rich. He had even had a shipping company. And from what I have read, that uh, his shipping company had journeys all the way to the British Isles. And he was trading uh, bringing them dates and uh, raisins and wine and uh, tropical fruits and uh, ceramic and uh, we said wine before, olive oil, olives, and he would bring back tin, tin, 
to uh, the Holy Land. So um, he was rich. Okay, so now, although the discoveries are not direct proof of Bible's accounts are factually accurate, Dr. Dark believes they can help historians explain some of the stories in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. This is by Sebastian Kentley on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.